Okay, what we have here is a handmade uh, loading coil on a wooden frame. You can see there's about 60 turns separated by nails of uh, PVC coated flex weave uh, antenna wire, and I guess there's around about 150 meters on there at least of the wire. The frame itself is about a meter square, uh, so roughly four meters uh, for one loop. <coughs> so slightly under that actually, so probably more like 200 meters of wire, which is a lot of wire. But then it's a very low frequency band, needs an awful lot of loading. And uh, out of all the bands I've tried to put a signal out on, 136 kilohertz has been by far the most challenging so far. Attached to this is uh, around about 35 meters of wire and uh, a good grounding system. Even so, um, on a wooden frame, I wouldn't be uh, minded to run more than about 10 watts for fear of fire, seriously, and uh, I wouldn't leave it unattended under any circumstances. I have heard of fires happen um, by people who've used loading coils with higher powers, particularly when the wood gets wet. So this will be replaced by a, a plastic forward version eventually, but for now this has worked the best of the coils that I've tried. Um, it's air spaced and it's big as you can see. Um, and over the next few months hopefully I'll be trying to improve, see what we can do to get out a 136 kilohertz signal using an Ultimate 3 to begin with as the basis for transmit and uh, repertire as the basis for receive and uh, I'll have videos to that as we go along but for now this is loading coil experiment number two